hello learners welcome to this session of catering management food and beverages uh, i am uh, manish agarwal an industry expert and uh, course leader for academy new delhi school of contemporary media uh, in this session uh, you will be able to learn about the catering management uh, food and beverages uh, we had a previous uh, lesson it is a part two of the chapter so we'll go ahead with the presentation so uh, this is a intro which i have already uh, spoken so we'll move ahead uh, to the presentation so this is a part 2 uh, of our module which is the menu selection so in this we'll be learning about uh, the kind of menu what kind of menu to be there what need to be selected for a particular kind of event what kind of food and what kind of other services so uh, the objectives uh, for this particular uh, lesson will be like after listening to this session, you will be able to uh, discuss the importance and function of menu designing in the light uh, of catering management in event. This means like you will be able to uh, know what kind of uh, menu is being taken for what kind of events, how to design that particular menu, because uh, designing play an important part for any kind of menu uh, for any kind of event because they are all thematic and you will be able to understand the catering management for events and also understand the types of menus available in food and beverages services that may be applied as per suitability to events so like as per the different uh, event as i told you before so there are different kind of menus which uh, are there in fnb and which cater different kind of services so that this is again a very important thing which you, you will be able to learn uh, in this session and uh, we need to keep in mind lots of things which are really important necessary for catering management so this is a, a very interesting pick of a setup of a catering services here this is just a uh, starting to show you how uh, they do the setup uh, for even how nicely uh, a setup and how colorful the setup for this event uh, or any kind of wedding is done by catering people so catering, this is uh, uh, being held by uh, the catering agencies also and the event company also. They uh, have lots of designer who design all these kind of things. And uh, you have seen the menu there being laid very nicely. And here is the functions of catering events. Uh, like there are different functions like catering operations, food service and the requirements, service planning, menu selection, alcohol management. So catering operations is like the, how the catering will be operated what kind of people are involved, then food service and requirement, what are the food services, and what are the other requirements we need for the kind of catering and kind of food. Is the, then the menu selection in which like we will be uh, going in uh, detail about this in this session as we are doing. So we'll go uh, step by step, then the service planning, service planning, what are the service providers, uh, for uh, the catering management, uh, the kind of people involved, how, how it's been planned. So that is very, very important. Then the alcohol management, which we will uh, discuss in detail uh, on later stage. And now we come to menu selection. So menu selection, as I told before, is a very important and integral part of catering uh, management. So menu, uh, what kind of menu has been selected, how it has been selected, what kind of people are coming to your event it's totally depend on the menu selection so it has to be selected very elegantly aesthetically and as per the taste buds of the people so menu is a detailed list of all foods and drinks planned to be offered by a food service provider so this in simple word means there are service providers like your caterers so it's been selected and it and in been detailed detailed uh, in, in an interesting way for your uh, clients. So what, what, what kind of food and drinks are, are you offering to your client? What are the main criteria of that offering? Uh, does it really required or not? So these things need to be taken care. Uh, then the main categories of foods within a typical menu are uh, specialties, signature dishes, snacks, soups, main courses, desserts, and drinks. And drinks include non-alcoholic, alcoholic, hot, and Cold. So all these kind of uh, things are there and this is a main category uh, we provide in a menu. The specialties uh, is like what kind of special things are being provided to the people. Then the signature dishes, dishes are like uh, one of the most interesting dishes which is like the modern dishes uh, or dishes which have some kind of a heritage part or a cultural part 
so how they are being served and who are serving them many times they like the signature dishes are being served by the people who have created it or who own that kind of a heritage so this is a very interesting uh, thing then the kind of snacks being served the soups now the menu has become very elaborate there are a number of soups being served in uh, later stages we hardly see one or two or maximum four kind of soups being served but now Yes, people from uh, Thailand, people from Lebanon, people from other other countries, they come and serve their soup delicacies uh, in uh, lots of weddings we see or lots of big uh, conferences or uh, corporate events. Then the main course food, as you know, what is the main course food? So the main food which has been laid as a data. So this is the main course food. Then uh, after the food, we have desserts. So desserts includes a number of things like sweets like cakes like pastries and then indian uh, sweet dishes then the continental sweet dessert and all other kind of things then the drinks drinks include everything like from alcohol to non-alcohol to cocktails to mocktails to hot to cold so you're serving a hot milk also and you're serving a scotch also this is like all included in our drinks then the menu selection process involves the following functions Identity, uh, file, incorporate nutritional requirement. So identify whatever you are making. Is it having a kind of a nutritional quality or not? Is it good for health or not? So you need to take care of those things. It is uh, really hygienic to serve and uh, it has a good food value. So that is important. Good food value is important for that. Then identify and accommodate dietary restrictions. Uh, yes, this is also an interesting thing to identify a dietary part of uh, your food being served. Uh, what are the uh, things uh, there in your food? Uh, what is the quantity of energy, calories, fat content? So uh, it's it's good if you find those things because your client will be happy if you are doing these kind of things. So they feel uh, a health uh, conscious in their uh, diets because people are becoming health conscious nowadays. So we need to take care of that. Then specify and integrate cost consideration. Yes, it is a very important thing like the costing part of your food is very important because the cost can go up, cost can, can, can go down. It all depends what kind of menu you have, what kind of dishes you have. So then con conduct menu planning. So this means like conduct menu planning is like you are conducting a planning as per the menu, with, uh, what kind of menu is being served to the client and uh, you have to see uh, how elaborate how elaborate you want to take that menu and what kind of dishes snacks or drinks are there uh, in your menu so it need to be planned so everything from as we discussed before about the events uh, staging events and other thing uh, previously so the menus also require a proper checklisting it requires lots of meetings it requires lots of uh, presentations with chef with your client, with your event management company to plan that menu. Uh, why you need lots of planning here? Because uh, it, many times people come up making lots of food uh, when the gathering is very, uh, very less and many times it happens people make less food but the gathering is much more. So this kind of planning is really required. Then you can see a nice uh, setup of uh, a table in which you can see a nice continental food laid on a table nicely, neatly with uh, a cutlery on it and a, and a color uh, uh, line up with your uh, nice, uh, you can see the nice food is being laid. So it, it gives you a more continental, some, uh, one like to sit and really eat the food when the food is served nicely and in an aesthetical manner. So this is really important for us to have a food in an aesthetical manner. Then designing a menu, this is an integral part of your catering management, like selection of menu, then what kind of menu you want to keep for your client. So the important points which should be considered while designing menu are type of event. So type of event means what kind of event you are doing. Is it a food festival? Is it a corporate event? Is it a seminar? Is it an art show? Is it a fashion event? So that is really important too know what kind of event so type of event is very very important to design a menu many people think the menu doesn't play a important role but yes it really play an important role what kind of food and where and how it has been served then the guest preferences so again a very important guest preferences mean what your guest likes 
if somebody is coming to your event and they are your guest if the food is not according to your date their taste according to their uh, uh, according to uh, what they like so then no use of serving that kind of food so everything could be a waste so your guest preference is very important we should know that from our client from from our uh, management agencies so every caterer or every chef need to know what kind of food is is to be served and what kind of people it is to be served menu then kind of menu what are the menu you cake you keep um, on your event then the event schedule is very important event schedule why it is important again uh, why i'm telling you everything is very important because uh, in in my point of view all things are important even the event schedule why event schedule because when the event is being started or uh, what is the time to serve your breakfast what is the time to serve your lunch what is the time to serve your dinner and in between snacks so event schedule when it is starting so that you uh, create you make the food accordingly it should not be made prolonged like uh, if you're even starting uh, around uh, in the afternoon you make uh, the food the day before so it will create a problem your your uh, food will go stale so which will be a problem so even schedule uh, knowing an event schedule for making uh, a good food for catering people is very important then special needs including dietary restrictions as i told before also so we need to know about the dietary restrictions of the people many time many places something is not uh, 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 not good for uh, someone so some someone is allergic to something so we should know what kind of regions what kind of uh, zones in which people are allergic to particular kind of uh, things so that should be uh, noted well and that should be taken care then the presentation of the food presentation of the food means that how you make your food presented in an aesthetical and a creative way people eat food food is there when one is angry uh, uh, hungry so he will really eat food but that food has to be good it has to taste good it has to look good that good looking food always uh, uh, want you to go there see that first and then you eat it so uh, if the food is not well presented person doesn't won't come there and sit and uh, eat it he will say or he will just feel that something bad is happening so that uh, kind of presentation as i uh, showed you in a previous slide so nicely laid up food to be there so so that your guest feel good about it and they should tell people that they went to some event some some kind of function and they really like the food there the taste is good but beside the taste the presentation is really good so that thing should be there this will create your goodwill factor so creating a goodwill factor for you for your event company for your catering company is important because you you have to get work again and again so this thing need to be uh, taken care and keep in the mind then we come to the budget budget is again an integral part of uh, your catering management and in designing a menu so budget uh, many times a client fix a budget client says ki uh, Uh, dear organization we have only this kind of budget so you work on that but many time uh, agencies come across like no sir we give you a nice presentation nice food but please keep this kind of budget so that your guests are happy your people are happy but we need to take care of the client uh, pocket also so we need to know what kind of money the client has to uh, spend so that need to be taken care so yes the budget here in uh, plays an important part so uh, uh, many times people uh, spend a lot on these kind of thing but many time these things are in vain so uh, again these things need to be taken care very professionally and a very ethical manner so ethics plays an important role in any kind of event deciding your menu uh, making nice food uh, presenting it scheduling it so all these things need to be taken care so this you can see a very interesting again um, a layout of a continental food here with some different uh, things done on a bread but yes beautifully uh, displayed so why i told you the aesthetics aesthetic is very important to it food should look good you know we go we go for a beauty so that beauty uh, lies everywhere so yes food is also beauty it's a very creative uh, thing so this 
uh, need to be taken care in a very creative manner. So we need to take care of that. Okay, then menu planning consideration. So this is again a very important topic for us. So uh, designing of menu should be systematic and must follow certain steps. So designing of menu, uh, 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 there should be a system to it and we follow the things which uh, will go one by one. So decide on the menu pattern suitable for the event purpose in each function. So the menu pattern, which is as per the event, as I told you before, it has to be as per the event and it has to be as per the event purpose and meal function. What kind of meal is being uh, prepared for a particular kind of functions, particular kind of event. Then decide on degree of flexibility to be incorporated. Uh, write down the main dish and pan side dishes around it. So we need to write down the main dish and plan side dishes. So what kind of a main dish we are uh, tearing and what are the side dishes uh, beside it? And we need to uh, plan accordingly. Okay, wh why? Because it, it see what, what it will commemorate. Uh, the, uh, basically how it is uh, corroborated with the main dishes, your side dishes. So that is again an important part, match starter and salad. We have to match everything from starter to what kind of salads we keep uh, with our uh, menu planning. So uh, this need to be taken care and decide on the dietary restrictions as special needs, if any. So as I told you before, so this is again, uh, we're discuss discussing about the dietary restrictions. We should know what kind of dietary planning uh, are there with the people and how it is uh, need to be taken care. Then the selection of desserts should relate to the main course. So selection of desserts, yes, very important. What kind of desserts? Uh, we are choosing. So is it related to the main course or is it something very different uh, what we are serving the food? It's better to have a relation kind of thing between uh, the menu and the uh, menu of the main course and the desserts we are serving. So it's really important for us. So it's a very small thing. Uh, so keeping, uh, taking what kind of savory, what kind of sweets are being served, what kind of uh, these deserts are being served, but yes, if it is related to the main course, it's really uh, a hit with the client and they really like the way it's being served. So that, and again, uh, beside that, we need to uh, see how these deserts are being served. So that is uh, again an important part. Then you can see uh, here, you can see uh, a very interesting picture in which a nice uh, presentation has been done in a form of a canopies. Uh, here and the food is being laid underneath uh, in a nice uh, shipping dishes with your utensils and all and you can see a table layout there with nice flower set up and all. So this is uh, this gives you a feel of some kind of a mobile theme or a Maharaja theme. So you know the, what kind of theme we select or a Rajasthani theme. So the food has to be like that so that it goes with the theme and it goes with the kind of event it's happening and you can see the kind of color combination uh, which is being shown here, which is the golden, beige, red and white with some greenery and some kind of uh, flowers here. So this is an important part. Food is okay. We made good food, nice food, food is laid out bust. But the kind of aesthetics of your place, basically, which even management agencies take care. So this, uh, the kind of setup has to be very neat and nice. So now we come to uh, types of menu. So there are many types of menu. So uh, as, as you can see the figure here, this is a, a la carte menu. So what happens in this menu? In this menu, uh, the guests may select separately to compile their menu. This is basically a choice menu and offers choice of dishes or items for the guest under each food category, namely starters, soups, main dishes, side dishes, salad, desserts, sandwiches, snacks, and beverages. So a la carte is like you can order as per your need and you can compile it separately uh, in this kind of menu and you have a choice okay what you want to order and what you want to uh, finalize with your caterer uh, when it comes to a big events big weddings and all so this is a uh, uh, kind of menu we have this is called a la carte uh, menu so you can see uh, the visual here which is there with lots of dishes so here you can select what kind of dishes you want and it includes everything okay so uh, li like uh, we have said the choice of dishes or items for the uh, guest under each food category so there are starters who main dishes uh, snacks beverages sandwiches etc so we, we move to another 
so uh, this is another uh, type of menu you can see this menu is a set menu in which a number of dishes are planned by the host so this is what do you mean by set menu the host has planned for you like if you are guest to some uh, party or somewhere so this is a kind of menu, kind of menu which is set so which means you will get only these things so a limited choice may be given for each course so there is a limited choice okay we have a particular thing happening it is not a la carte which means you can order anything and have everything so in this you, it is a limited choice it is as per the host which is being already decided so food uh, are prepared beforehand and are available at a same time so as it is like uh, already uh, plan and already there these dishes so only these uh, uh, dishes will be served then this is an another kind of menu which is called carte de jo which means card of the day it is a special menu for a particular day a plate de jo means plate of the day this menu signifies utility in the commercial setup uh this type of menu alone cannot fulfill the need and purpose of any event this is a very you know a different kind of menu which is like means uh, like card of the day means like the card of the day this is what is available on a particular day so menu of a particular day, then the plate of the day is like you will get only this as a menu today because this is plate of the day so uh, this doesn't work in big uh, events big weddings and all Okay, uh, this type of thing uh, is okay for the restaurant, for small parties and all, but for a big event doesn't work because you know in big events uh, every kind of people come, every kind of guest come. They have a different flavor, they have a different taste, and different kind of thought process. So uh, this is not for uh, big events, but yes, this is okay for a small party, small gatherings, and when you have a something happening in a restaurant or for a restaurant, uh, they have a different kind of menu and a different time so this could uh, go with that but not for your big events or elaborate kind of celebrations then you can see a nice uh, again a setup here uh, which is beautifully done so as i told you that uh, the food has to be displayed properly but before food the kind of cutlery the kind of utensils which goes with your food and the kind of uh, things like uh, you can see the candles here you can see a nice flower set up here and the cutlery beautifully done with your handkerchiefs and your napkins being placed. So this is very, very important to have an aesthetical part of it, to have a creative part of it uh, before serving a food so that one feels like when they come to the venue, they should have a nice feeling and before serving the food and they can be seated there. They, they have a, uh, it, it should have an aesthetical value as I'm telling you again and again. So, again an important part being creative while creating a nice food and here also you can see a pick of a food display uh, with a colorful food display with a menu uh, card why this uh, card here uh, a display card because it shows you what kind of menu what kind of things have been displayed here you can cheese uh, you, here you can see cheese and uh, olives so different kind of cheese so this must be some kind of a french or a setting or a German setting in which uh, the cheese and olives are a part of it. So this is like an even, uh, this is a wedding uh, picture which uh, we have put it here so that uh, you can see such a kind of elaborate setups are happening in Indian weddings also as it has become a major event nowadays for everybody because uh, weddings have become a dream for uh, everyone so uh, it is becoming elaborate day by day so now we come to the types of menu so the types of menu is a combination menu and cyclic menu what is this and these two types of menu are combined the combination menu can be used in events like conferences seminars etc where guests have less time to choose their dishes but need to satisfy their hunger as well as nutritional needs so combination menu is a combination of many things which are combined in a single menu which is uh, for the big big events uh, big big shows big big fairs in, in which your guests come and just just come there and take your dishes and just uh, satisfy uh, their hunger and but yes uh, besides satisfying the hunger every food every uh, dishes should be have a nutritional value so that it should satisfy the nutritional need of the person which is really important 
so uh, so we need to combine the food accordingly we we need to combine the menu accordingly and it includes your desserts also includes your drinks also and includes your snacks also so it's a like combination of everything then the cyclic menu this is a menu which changes every day for a certain set of days which is save uh, for a week before the cycle and this type of menu does not have any relevance for event purposes so yes it is not relevant for event purposes why because this keep on changing they keep on changing the menu this is not uh, something like uh, many times when we go and fix a menu to any banquet or a big uh, a property or a resort and all so we need some kind of a good menu but when we go there for an event they, they say okay no, on this day we have only this menu so we are set for that day so this kind of menu doesn't work for our big events big uh, kind of weddings big seminars or conferences so for that our combination menu really work but yes cyclic menu works in other ways as i told you a small gathering is there or something uh, like that happening so that works so this is about the these two types of menu so uh, thank you guys uh, hope uh, you have learned uh, uh, in this session about the catering management uh, about different kind of menus which is an important part of it how to select the menu how the menu is being selected for different kind of events what are the combination of menus and what are the different kind of menus and what is the purpose of selecting menu uh, as per the food values as per the uh, dietary uh, restrictions and all as we discussed so guys uh, this is uh, uh, it. so you can take out your notebooks and uh, you can just go through uh, the brainstorming how the different menus are being selected and what is it important role catering management play in any kind of event with the kind of menu selection and uh, the checklisting and the planning of your menu thank you